the U.S. deploy hundreds tanks, Apache, and troops to help Indian and Ladakh. Indian and the United States on Saturday conducted a joint military drill at the Mahajan Field Firing Range in the Vard Desert. Involving Apache helicopters, Mi-17 transport choppers along with troops from both countries in the recreated combat area. The drill also included the Chinook, a multi-mission helicopter, which was seen carrying armored transport vehicles and dropping them at designated locations. The ground troops are on the ground and now they are ready for action. Both countries created mock terror situations, such as in Afghanistan and Iraq to carry out counter-terror operations. As a result of the drills, tanks and fighter jets were also deployed at the line of actual control in Ladakh in wake of the border standoff with China. Rajasthan Surat Gar Base Brigade, which is represented by the 11th Battalion of the Sapt Shakti Command of Jammu and Kashmir Rifles carried out mock counter-terrorism operations with Seattle-based troops. Of the 1st Striker Brigade combat team, who are also called the Ghost Brigade, a name they earned for their stealth operations in Iraq. We gained the reputation as Ghost Brigade in early 2003 during first deployment in Iraq. We gained the reputation for quickly and quietly entering enemy town homes in search and areas. And we were able to strike and defeat the enemy before they knew what hit them. From then on our motto became arrive in silence, Major Spencer Garrison of the East Striker Brigade told news agency IANS. The Maki exercise the 16th edition of Yad Abhaya started. It's named Zora War after veteran Dogra military commander General Zora War Singh, who's popularly known as the Conqueror of Ladakh. that I, on behalf of the government, people and the armed forces of India, welcome all the members of the United States Army. I'm Specialist Travis Lee. I'm with the 91st Engineer Battalion. I'm from Laporte, Texas. I'm a 12 Bravo combat engineer. What do you see? Go, 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 On March 29, 1944, General Leslie J. McNair, the commander of Army Ground Forces, presented the very first expert infantryman's badge to Tech Sergeant Walter Bull after a rigorous test that 99 other NCOs failed. Let's go, Smith!
Fire in the hole. These U.S. soldiers are making the earth shake at the demolition range. We've been planning for this range for about two months or three months now. We're out here using C4 and explosively formed projectiles, EFPs, which uh, we're using to kill tanks. So I'm hoping that I get the opportunity out here to really um, utilize scout tactics as a scout PL um, and also to work effectively with my section leaders. Um, this is the first opportunity getting out here, delegating tasks down to section leaders, allowing them to maneuver on the battle space. At the same time, this is the first opportunity for a lot of soldiers here at Lightning Forge uh, to get into a field exercise and also to utilize scout tactics.